One of the biggest events here at WTHS is the annual dance concert. This year marks the 14th and the 15th year of the dance program here at Township. The dance program is run by dance teachers Issa Jackson and Christina Richardson who work their hardest to make the show amazing. I don't think that you can quantify the amount of effort that goes into this show. Um, Ms. Jackson and I start working at least a year in advance for each and every show. It's countless hours. Um, before we even walk into the school building to prepare choreography and then hours to rehearse it once we get here. Um, we work pretty hard on the show. The show actually takes, the process of creating the show takes about a year. So from the time the last show ended, we actually started planning for the show. So um, it's been about a year in planning and we've, you know, we plan together, we work on the choreography, we come up with costumes. So it's a lot of things that we actually have to uh, do to put together the entire show. This year's concert theme was iconic, so all the dances were based on famous singers, movies, TV shows, books, etc. The concert includes class dances, solos, and ensembles, and the ensembles are contemporary, lyrical, jazz, hip-hop, tap, modern, Afro-Caribbean, belly dancing, ballet in point, and the guys dance. All the dancers and choreographers have their favorite number. My favorite dance was the Hunger Games. My favorite dance was the Afro one because I like like the music and how it was like this year. I don't think I can pick just one. I'm sorry. Um, I can say that um, the 9/11 dance and the Alex's Lemonade Stand dance, the modern piece Miss Jackson choreographed, are my two sentimental favorites. They just meant a lot to us, um, and so I thought they were beautiful. Um, I guess my favorite one to just watch because it was really cool and theatrical um, was one of my dance production classes, the Hunger no, Games dance. No. My favorite dance in the show, this is a tough one, um, I enjoyed a lot of the dances. I mean, I, I really do enjoy all the dances that I teach. Um, I did like creating the modern dance because it had a special cause. It was for the Alex Lemonade Stand Foundation, so that was really nice. I enjoyed doing Afro-Caribbean. There were a bunch of dances that I enjoyed. I, I feel like I couldn't even name them all. I really liked all of them. Preparation for the concert began at the start of December and end the day before the show. With so much preparation to the show, it's no doubt that the show will be great. Audience members gave their views on what they thought of the show. Um, in my opinion, the show was the best that, that I've seen. I've, I went last year, and by far, this, this year's was the best show that I've seen. Well, I think everybody did a great job. I mean, you could see that the, the dancers and the performers practiced a lot and put a lot of effort into it. The teachers put a lot of effort into it, and it turned out to be a good performance for everybody. The week of the show is the craziest for the dancers and choreographers, consisting of final ensemble rehearsals, class dance rehearsals, and the mandatory dress rehearsal the day before the show, and then finally the show. Dancers and choreographers gave their views on how crazy show week is to them. Show week for me is insane and awesome all at the same time. My family just plans to not see me for a week. I pretty much move into the theater first thing in the morning and I'm the last one out of the building every single night. It's, it's crazy hours but it's doing what I love so I wouldn't have it any other way. It was crazy. We had to rehearse every day on stage full out, but it was fun and I'm happy that we did good and it was worth it. How crazy the week of the show is, oh man. I think I was going to pull my hair out doing this. I was like, mom, I need this. I got to get this. I don't want that one. I need this shirt. I, I like the way this one looks. So it was like, it was really stressful. But like once you get everything into play, it's like, Ooh, we about to do this. Show week is pretty crazy. Uh, there's a lot going on. I know I pretty much move into the theater. I bring my suitcase and lug it down with all my items. Um, but it's pretty crazy getting everybody on stage. My main concern is getting all my dancers on stage and making sure that they look uh, their best. Um, but there's just a lot of things going on. There's the rehearsal, there's the performance, there's the assembly for the fifth graders. Um, it's a really fun time. I think it's a great time for all the students because they get a chance to kind of feel a part of a family. and and see what it's like to dance together, especially for the younger ones, the dance one students. They get to see what it's really like to be a part of this big uh, group in the, in the high school. In past years, there have been two ways to get tickets, either early from a township dancer for $5 or at the door for $10. This year, tickets went on sale on October 31st on Ticketmaster. 
This happened because just before last year's hashtag Throwback Thursday began, the fire alarm went off, resulting in people losing their seats. By buying the tickets online, you would get to reserve your seat so that would not happen again. People have their own thoughts on whether it was a good idea to reserve your seats in advance. Their idea? Um, having reserved seating this year I think was a really good idea, especially last year with the fire drill. A lot of people lost their seats uh, because of people taking other people's seats. But I think that having reserved seating was a nice a touch to it. People were able to choose where they wanted to sit and uh, pay the amounts they wanted to pay for the tickets. Um, I think that was nice. I think that it's going to take a little getting used to for the staff and the students to understand that they have to go to the box office to get tickets now, but it was definitely a re relief off of um, myself and Ms. Richardson to not have to be selling tickets in class in the midst of all the other things that we do for the show. I absolutely think it was great to have reserved seating, and I don't think we'll ever go back to general admission. There was just a wonderful sense of calm um, the night of the show when people came in. Once they found their, their seats, um, no one was fighting to get up front. Everyone was in a more relaxed mood. It was just pleasant, so I think we'll always do reserved seating. Yeah, I think it was better because then everyone knew where they were going, and it wasn't like a fight for seats or anything, so it worked out for everyone. I do. I think it was a great idea to have reserved seating. You got to choose your seats beforehand and you weren't fighting over seats and we got the seats that we wanted. The dance concert also raises money for a certain charity every year. This year the charity was Alex's Lemonade Stand. They started raising money in January selling t-shirts saying kicking cancer off the stage with the township logo on the front. Selling the shirts raised $800 for Alex's Lemonade Stand. They also sold the shirts in the lobby during the show. The concert also held a miracle minute during intermission along with the modern dance ensemble performing with some of the dancers going out into the audience and collecting money. The miracle minute and selling the shirts at the concert made a total of $3,500 for Alex's lemonade stand. The dance concert is an exciting time of year for the township dancers because it's that time to finally get to show what they've been working on since September. The dancers and choreographers have worked their hardest to make an amazing show and they certainly did not let us down. Congratulations to everyone who participated in Iconic and congratulations to Miss Jackson and Miss Richardson for putting on a fantastic show. From Monthly Rewind Season 21, I'm Alexa Muter.